Live. This is Live Miami at 11. All right, Natalie, thank you so much. Well, medical advances have made it easier for many of us to change whatever we don't like about ourselves, but sometimes some of us are going overboard with the plastic surgery and dermatological tweaks. Joining me is aesthetic surgeon, Dr. Herman. She's from New York to talk about where to draw the line and some other things that'll be good for you to make you look beautiful. Welcome, it's so good to see you. Thank you for having me. Okay, you walk around town, particularly here in Miami, and sorry, friends, and you see a lot of people who look like this. I mean, they look scared. Right. Um, should you know when to stop? Absolutely. You're bringing up an amazing point. I always say if you keep a few things in mind, you're not going to get into trouble. Okay. If a little is good, a lot is not necessarily better. Alrighty, I'll remember okay? that. <laughs> it's good to start early to do things when we need it, but it's not good to start when we don't need things. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. gotcha. And thirdly, it's always good to see a board certified plastic surgeon member of the American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery for a comprehensive consultation to find out what combination of surgery, new technology, non-surgical, surgical is good for you. It's appropriate. And you know what? That's, I guess, the neat thing these days. It used to be back in the old days if a woman wanted a facelift, she had to go under the knife and get everything ripped up. Right. Now, she doesn't necessarily have to do that. We have so many new technologies. In fact, Trina, the new trend is really uniquely combining surgery with new technologies that are non-surgical to get the best result instead of replacing one for the other. We, ha we have a lot of new technologies that are available to us right now. In my practice, for example, they, uh, the, the most requested new procedure is a non-surgical eye lift. Oh, really? Which is um, putting volume, restoring volume around the eyes to make the eyes look lifted without surgery. It's great on its own, and it's great with surgery or after surgery, and it's done very safely using blunt needles. Um, so that's one big trend that we're seeing. And we're seeing a lot more people doing it as well. Exactly. It's become very popular. Studies by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons have shown an uptick, 5% increase increased just last year in cosmetic procedures. And a lot of this also, again, has to do with all these new technologies. We're going to have new injectables coming out, new injectables like Botox, muscle relaxants for lines and wrinkles, Xeomin. Um, it has less impurities in it. We have new uh, fillers coming out, Belotero, like Restylane and Juvederm, is going to have less blue discoloration, very safe. We have big trends in body tightening, skin tightening and we have big trends in fat melting. So this is all really exciting. Yeah, because you hear about lasers and just all kinds of stuff. So what I'm hearing is that people have a lot of options. A lot of options. We have radio frequency now. Fractora Firm, Fractora Plus for the face and for the body. Go under the skin, create collagen, firm everything up. Doctor, thank you so much. You're absolutely You've welcome. been a wealth of knowledge. Well, Dr. Herman's office is located in New York City. You can visit her website at drherman.com. Shiri, over to you.